Your forecast first for tonight, clouds and a few sprinkles around the region. 34 degrees for an overnight low. Light winds tomorrow, a gray day with a chance of rain developing late. We have the chance of a few little bits of rain, just the kind that you don't even notice unless you're in your car and the windshield wiper uh, messes it up. That's how light the rain will be during the day. Different story tomorrow night. 46 degrees for our high. Our high today, 41, 38, our average. No precipitation officially out at the airport. Our sunset at 505. Right now it's 40 in Spokane with mostly cloudy skies. Currently in Coeur d'Alene, it is 39. It is Wildlife Wednesday here at KXOY4. I have some great viewer pictures to share with you. And I'm going to start off with this amazing eagle shot. And uh, this was snapped by our own 5 o'clock producer, Brian Neal who is in the booth control room right now during this show. Uh, this was taken by the Spangle Gravel Pit. A uh, great place for eagles to uh, hang about. Here is a river otter from Marilyn Hassler. Uh, this was on Chain Lake uh, near the Elk area. She said this river our otter poked his head up out of a hole in the ice and was staring at her when she was on her morning walk. And finally, this was yesterday's sunset on the Spokane River. Um, our friend Donald Sewell was trying to get a nice sunset shot, but these geese kept messing up the river and taking away the stillness. But it made for a great picture in its own right. Air stagnation advisory until Saturday, even though we do have a series of systems moving through and a little bit more quickly than I had imagined. Our ridge of high pressure took a beating from this system that brought the clouds and the sprinkles today. Here's a look at the forecast starting off at five o'clock tonight. High pressure now well off to the east. Here comes the system for tomorrow, bringing some light rain tomorrow late afternoon or evening, and then a more substantial round of wet weather overnight and into Friday. Here's a closer view. Five o'clock tonight, we've got plenty of clouds in place, some mountain showers overnight, and then we start to see the rain moving in tomorrow late afternoon and evening, and once it gets started, it's going to be with us for a while. Meanwhile, our overnight lows tonight will be down, uh, down in the 30s, below freezing in some spots or right about freezing in others. Our highs tomorrow running above average with the southwesterly flow in advance of our cold front. We've got a warm front, high temperatures well, well up into the 40s. Here is your seven-day forecast, and it is damp Thursday a chance of a few sprinkles, but mostly it's going to hold off until tomorrow night. And then the rain comes in Thursday night and into Friday. More rain on Saturday. Looks like Sunday is going to be rainy. And we'll keep that theme going through next week. But warm highs in the 50s next week.